herb encrusted lamb chops. We're gonna grill them and then bake them. Right now we're gonna start off by seasoning them. We picked up some great lamb chops from Whole Foods today. So open these up. Oh, that's great. Really fantastic looking. Pull those out. Start off with a little olive oil, which I'm going to tell you that, you know, I love using unique and different kinds of olive oils, but I really like this uh, 365 Spanish version. It, it's got a great flavor, nice and strong and bold. I'm going to use some of the white salt with the truffle. Okay. Some black pepper. A little bit of the Lysanders, just a tiny bit. Okay. And then we're going to use lemon. Slice it. Squeeze that over. And I really want this to sit probably for about at least two to three hours before we start cooking. You really want it to get that flavor. If you can do it overnight, it'd be even better. There we go. Nice. Get that little piece out. I'm gonna put one shallot. Yeah, my birthday just passed, and I have some great friends that gave me a gift card to Kohl's, and I didn't realize it, but they have a whole Food Network line. So I was able to pick up a really neat piece. This not only helps me pick it up and toss it into food, but it measures it for me. So I, I thought that was really great. So we're going to use that today as soon as I chop up all these onions. First, thank you to my friends for the great gift card and then to Kohl's and Food Network for having really great, unique pieces to use. There you go, see? Pick it up and toss. I'm gonna do the same with these herbs. Now I've got some chives here. Wanna use some chives? I'm just gonna chop them up really small. There we go, nice, nice. Take some of these excess ones and toss them. Again, using my little scraper, pick everything up, toss it in. Now some fresh basil. Now you want to take the little tips off of the basil. The flavor really comes from the leaves. Put it all together. Almost like we're rolling a, a cigar here same kind of a, an effect. Start at the tip. There we go. Nice. Extra little cut. Toss in. And I've got one, two, three, four and a half cloves of garlic. And that's what I'm going to use to put in there. So I'm going to mash them a little bit. I'm sure that there's an easier way, but this is kind of the way my Tia did it when I was a kid, and I used to watch her, and so I'm just mimicking her. And she's such a fantastic cook that uh, I'm hoping that maybe that's part of the magic. Go and just take the skin off, put the side because really, once you mash them, they kind of just come out of the, the skin that they're in, makes it a little bit easier. Take the heads off, okay. Okay, and I want 
wanted a little bit smaller pieces than this, so I pulled out my garlic press, and I'm going to go ahead and use that. Okay. There we go. Just kind of toss it in on this side. A little extra skin out. And squeeze it as hard as you can. There we go. There you go. That's a good one. And even you can see some of the juice actually even comes out when we do it that way. All right, we put all the ingredients together. We're just going to toss it and make sure that everything is covered. Everything. Oh, it's got a great, nice, garlicky smell. Mm, you can smell the lemon juice and everything. Now I'm going to let this chill for a few hours. And then when we come back, we're going to grill them. But from here to then, we'll see you in a bit. We pulled the lamb chops out of the refrigerator, and now we're going to grill them. As you can see, I've got this, uh, the grill is over 600. It's actually almost 650 degrees. So we're going to open this up. Really, really, really hot, so you want to be careful. And I'm going to sear on each side about three to four minutes, okay? are in season right now so I sliced one up and I'm just marinating it real quick you know and I'm gonna throw it on the grill with the uh, got plenty of sauce so I'm gonna turn them and just keep my eye on them When they're about three or three or minutes or so, I'm going to take them, I'm going to remarinate them, and I'm going to put them back on the grill. Okay? We'll be back. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, so I want to toss these in the marinade again. I'm just going to move them over. As you can see, we've got plenty of juices there. And then, hit it the grill. Woo! It smells so delicious. Can't wait to have these. And we'll just do that with each one of them, and then we'll toss that. There we go. Woo! As my nephew would say, we're going to check it. You want the lamb to be at least 145 with temperature, okay? So we're just going to pierce it, and we're going to let it run. Okay. And it is there we go, one forty five. Fantastic. So we're just gonna plate them here. and let them rest for about five minutes or so. We're back, the grilled chops are ready. I've been letting them sit for about five minutes or so. I took the peaches that we grilled with them and sliced them and they're all on top of it. All the flavors are fantastic, the aroma is wonderful. Thank you so much for watching us. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and watch us always on syndicatednews.net. Thanks.